Kelly wants to go see if one of the places along the beach have chippies. You want chippies? Come spend an afternoon with us on Chuang Beach, Koh Samui. The first time we saw how low the planes got to the beach, we had such a shock, but it's so cool to watch them flying overhead. We walked along the beach from where we were staying and came to this beachfront beach club. The water temperature in October is just absolutely perfect. It's warm and inviting. If you walk along Chawang Beach, you'll come across lots of beach clubs, but we picked this one because there was these giant floating bean bags in the water that Kelly and I wanted to have fun on. Just look at me being super graceful <laughs> as I try to get on next to Kelly without tipping her off. It was actually really hard. Kelly and I picked one of the sunbeds on the beach and decided to relax. A lady selling beach jewellery came over to see if we wanted to buy anything. At first, she quoted me 200 baht per bracelet or necklace or anklet. We got it down to 50 baht per piece and I got Callie and I a matching bracelet, sorry, matching anklet and also Callie a new necklace. So I thought that was a really great price and also a really cute souvenir. Thank you. Yeah, you like it? One for mummy, one for Kelly. The lady was really lovely actually, and when she realized that it might not fit Kelly perfectly, she offered to change the size up for us. So I thought that was really kind of her. Very lovely. It's my Lisa. Got a little bracelet. I mean anklet. James gave up trying to snorkel and he decided to beach bag it up in the water. She got a new necklace and a new bracelet. You're welcome, my love. You guys might have noticed already that our little Callie is a bit of an ice block queen. So she was very much in luck when a man selling ice blocks came along and asked if we wanted to get anything. I love this part about Thailand. I think it just really adds to the experience of seeing people walking along the beach selling different products. You can get some really cool things and it just makes a really either nice souvenir like our bracelets and necklaces or just the perfect addition to a beach day, having an ice block right on the beach. Hey, Captain Car. Good girl. Thank you so much. This is a bit lovely. It really is the perfect way to spend a day in Thailand, just relaxing on the beach and soaking in how absolutely stunning Koh Samui is. If you're not staying in a hotel that's right on the water, then you still get to have this experience. All you need to do is pick a beach club that you like the look of and either purchase food or drinks from them. I think different clubs will have different rules about how much you need to spend. And then basically you can spend the whole day there. We loved this club because it was right on the water with the bean bags in the ocean. And they also had a pool that they said that we were able to use as their customers.
After a while, we decided to wander back down towards our own hotel, but stopped in front of it where there was this cute little reggae beach bar and they had swings. I love that all over Thailand, every single beach that we have visited has had a swing somewhere on it. It really adds to it. We spent a while also watching planes come in. In the afternoon, early evening, it seemed like heaps were arriving in Koh Samui. There's a plane coming. Not for a little bit though. Thanks for watching our beach day in Koh Samui. I hope you've enjoyed it. We'd love it if you subscribed to our channel and came along with us on this amazing adventure. We'll see you in our next video. Bye.